A story now new at 11. If you were with us last night, you saw a man who had been billed by VDOT for a crash that happened 30 years ago. And after our story aired, we got a lot of calls, emails, and Facebook posts. You want to know, is this legal or is there a statute of limitations? Down at your side's Liz Palka followed up with a lawyer today. So Liz, what did he tell you? Nicole and Tom, there is a statute of limitations as it relates to damaged property and car accidents, but that law didn't take effect until last year, which means all cases before that, like Carl Alexander's 30-year-old case, can still be pursued. In Virginia, there's been this absence of a statute of limitations involving the Commonwealth being able to pursue property damage cases. That was until 2014 when Virginia's General Assembly created a statute of limitations for cases that involve vehicles and damaged property. Cases similar to Carl Alexander's. The Suffolk man said he recently got a call from a VDOT collections agency. The person on the phone told Alexander he owed around $200 to $300 for a damaged guardrail. But the accident was a long time ago. Here it is 30 years later and you telling me about something that I wasn't even responsible for and I was floored. The accident happened in 1985 on this section of I-264 in Portsmouth. Alexander tells us he doesn't plan on paying for that guardrail. Not only has it been 30 years, but he says he was run off the road by a drunk driver. They try to bully me into paying it and Threaten me that you can go to court. Fault aside, many have questioned whether VDOT is legally able to collect for these damages. And the answer is it can. We asked Virginia Beach attorney Tim Anderson to explain it to us. He said the five year statute of limitations for the state to pursue action against a negligent driver didn't take effect until last July. If there's a cause of action or a claim arising, it doesn't affect cases that go backwards. And the legislature didn't put a retroactive provision on the statute. So the new law won't impact Alexander's case. Now he's not without remedy. He has defenses he can still raise, but from a statute of limitations, he would not be able to rely on this new law that went into effect last year. Alexander has said he is willing to go to court and bring witnesses to the original accident. Attorney Tim Anderson said he should. More than likely, he'll be able to plead a doctrine of latches, which is an argument that there was an unreasonable delay to take action, in this case, 30 years. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. We asked VDOT why it's taken 30 years to reach out to Alexander. Agency officials told us they couldn't talk about his account specifically. They did say multiple attempts are made to locate and bill a person in cases like this.